Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. They're beloved classics of the holiday season, watched on national TV for generations. Where's the turkey, Chuck? But some of your favorite holiday TV specials are at the center of a political correctness battle, even Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. One viewer tweeted, has anyone else noticed that within the first five minutes, two characters get bullied? Hey, look at the beat. Hey, buy us now. Hey, ball boy, thanks now. Stop calling me names. The Huffington Post even called Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which first aired in 1964, seriously problematic, pointing out alleged sexism in this scene. Mrs. Donner wanted to go along, naturally, but Donner said, no, this is man's work. But many believe the criticism is PC gone way too far. This is really silly, come on. Another holiday classic, A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, is also under the microscope 45 years after it first aired. Notice how the only black character, Franklin, sits by himself at the Thanksgiving feast. More proof that Charlie Brown and his cohorts are racist, goes one tweet. I think what they were objecting to was table seating, and I think I think that might be a little bit of a reach. It's your not hat, just TV specials. Swell. I ought to say no, no, no. A Cleveland radio station has pulled the Yuletide classic Baby It's Cold Outside in the wake of the Me Too movement. The song, which goes back to 1949, is about a woman who wants to leave a man's house. I simply must go. Baby, it's cold outside. The answer is but no. Baby, it's cold outside. It's important for us to slow down and really think about about the lyrics and what they mean and speak up um, when they're promoting something that is uh, against our values. Baby, it's cold outside. The song was also used for comedic effect in the movie L. I think we have to look at the origins of the song and realize that it was written for a much more innocent baby, time. It's cold outside. The answer is but no. Baby, it's cold outside. No.